Well, hello there, Red Faction. How's it going? So, <clears throat> there's going to be a video going up on the same time as this uh, one. That's going to be a little longer. We have the full reaction to the recent developer live stream that just happened over on Twitch.tv um, for slash Bungie. Um, where they talked about everything kind of coming with the new act. Um, showing off gameplay from a lot of very interesting things, uh, talking about weapons, and also talking about bringing this up towards the later half. Not only did they talk about kind of the narrative des design and everything going into <clears throat> Frontiers and Apollo, but they also brought up next generation armor. <sighs> and kind of what that means. So, we're going to read the article discussing this. So, Red Faction, let's see what next generation armor means for your favorite judging VTuber. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome to one of our many uh, articles on this. Yep, we already discussed this. This is a deep dive into our plan for armor. Compared to weapons, armor have been a relatively unexciting reward for a few years now. In the year ahead, we'll be introducing new properties to armor and changing how, stat, how stats work to make it easier to change armor around. <clears throat> so, if you, you know, just want a general idea of kind of what's going to be talked about, <clears throat> armor will be more active, interesting, more active, interesting part of build crafting. Stats will be reworked to be more impactful, less confusing, and less constraining. Set bonuses will in be introduced to give individual armor sets more unique identities and build crafting experiences. So basically making <clears throat> all the stats that we currently have, you know, mobility, resilience, recovery, discipline, intellect, and strength feel more prevalent to how you go about doing things. <clears throat> so... In the years since the last major update to armor, Shadowkeep's armor 2.0 has settled into a relatively static part of the reward system. Once we have the right roll stats, there's very little interest to look forward to, and the intrinsic balance of the stat values has a lock-in effect that makes it hard to want to swap anything out anyway. For armor to be exciting again, it needs unique properties, and stats need to be easier to manage without so much fine-tuning. So, here's what we're going for. <clears throat> the reworked stat mechanics. Stats and armor will be changing in Coding Frontiers in order to make them more player friendly. <clears throat> the first major update is the change of the mechanics to the stats themselves. Stats will no longer be tiered every 10 points. Every point in a stat will provide a benefit. This change is intended to reduce the lock-in effect that happens when the fine-tuned combination of the stat values makes it feel impossible to switch out any single armor piece. Stat effects will be capped at 200, with the range from 101 to 200, providing an additional powerful effect building on the base effect. This change is intended to support deeper investment into the small number of stats and the spiker stat distributions on armor with fewer secondary dump stats. So, like for me, I run kind of more for high recovery, high discipline, and then have like you know resilience kind of up there, maybe intellect. You know if I do if I'm doing more of like a strength esque build, there's you know all that, <clears throat> and then kind of mobility kind of just kind of sits there in the back corner. Like, and eh, do I really care about it? No, not really. So in addition to the above changes, the distribution of stats and armor will be changing as well. Legendary armor will have stat archetypes, which determines the primary and secondary stat types, with the third stat being a free roll. Values of these stats should overall be spikier, leading to fewer points in the dump stats. <clears throat> the class slot, the Hunter Cloaks, the Warlock Bonds, and Titan Marks will have a full stat distribution on par with the other slots. Okay. So this is kind of like the chest armor and showing off the set bonuses. Okay, they're doing a standard, you know, two to four um, here. So it shows you kind of where 
you know, your stats are some ability, resilience, recovery, discipline, intellect, and strength. Strength will be kind of more for melee. <laughs> This is probably these are probably just placeholders because I don't know why they they would have the loader and dexterity mods be on the chest piece, but okay. Brawler armor, an armor archetype. Brawler archetypes have extreme melee and other close range capabilities. So the primary stat is set to be having an increase of strength. The secondary um, stat being discipline, and then the third one being intellect. Okay, kind of see that you know. With having two, you get a bonus to your discipline and de high to your strength, um, which they probably increase if you have more of the brawler feel. Okay. The result of the smaller number of unique stats in any armor piece with a large contribution to these stats, every stat point providing the benefit. These changes should ultimately make every piece of armor more interesting and easier to evaluate. Okay, so, huh, interesting, new stats, <clears throat> some of the stats will be changing with three goals in mind, and improve specific weak stats that offer little value, reduce the, or eliminate the mandatory must-have stats, improve the overall understandability of stats and their effects. These changes will are still under development, but here's from Zavo of Working Progress Designs, which will eventually include most of all the current stats found on armor. <clears throat> so they're, they're looking at discipline, strength, and special ammo. Okay. So from 1 to 100, providing an increase to cooldown reduction, 100 to 200 provides an increasing chance to gain a bonus grenade charge whenever your grenade becomes available. The stat renamed to grenade to improve readability. Okay. Strength will have, you know, the, you know, from 1 to 100 having the incre increase in the melee cooldown reduction, and 100 to 200 increasing the chance to gain a melee charge whenever your powered melee becomes available. Stat renamed to melee to improve readability. So, how is that going to work with um, certain exotic armors? Or certain, like, specific, um, like, <clears throat> you know, if you're running, you know, you're a Void Warlock, you're running uh, Scatter Grenade, you have uh, Briar Bonds, which I think is what they're called. How that gives you two addition, that gives you an additional Scatter Grenade to throw out. How is that going to work with this? You know, because you'll have two two grenade charges. Um, will this will this, you know, when you throw that first one out, will it give you an extra one? You know, for, and then like for in terms of hunters using grapple grenade, they the grapple uh, strand one. They have two grapple hooks already, so will that increase? You know, when we look at warlocks with arcane needle. If they go for more strength, you know, and you're charging up that extra one, like, when you've reached that, will it, get, will it fill in two? And then when you look at, you know, running, um, you know, the Warlock, um, you know, gauntlets that give you an additional melee charge to it. Like, how's that going to work? You know, Titans with their class ability, how they'll get, like, you know... A second, you know, what, like, how are, how are all these going to improve gaining a bonus whenever your, each power melee or your grenade becomes available? Um, and then they're adding a special ammo one. From 1 to 100, increase the, the rate at which ammo bricks will drop from final blows. From 100 to 200, increasing the chance that a double-sized brick will drop. So, like, Is that for, like, with... Hmm. So now they're adding in the stat bonuses for things like our, um, finder mods. And will that work the same with heavy? 
Um, the set bonuses. The second major change to armor will be int the introduction of set bonuses. Think of them as an origin trait for armor. They will represent the theme of the armor and allow you to reflect the fantasy in the way you build. Okay. Think of them, um, set bonuses are perks granted when you equip two or four pieces of armor, like artifacts from your favorite gacha games. Uh, which allows you to commit to either two bonuses from the same set or find combinations that fit your unique needs. We're keeping both approaches in mind as they take shape and are, we're excited to see what guardians choose with the use of these tools. Note that there is no bonus at five pieces because most builds are expected to include a piece of exotic armor. As you see, perks will consist of the either existing mods or, or will be newly designed. We've included a few examples below to represent the general direction we'd like to go. So, there's Tex Mechanica, Nonstop Aggression, Demolition Expert, and Vanguard Operative. Okay. So, for Tex Mechanica, while shooting from the hip, you have increased movement speed and weapon handling. Effect increases when you score hits. <clears throat> and then, if you have a four piece of Tex Mechanica, uh, Tex Mechanica weapons have an increased range and accuracy when hip fired. <clears throat> So it's kind of building onto already some of the text mechanical weapons that you might already have, like DMT. Um, Non-stop aggression. Final blows with freshly reloaded weapons heal you. Damaging a target with a shotgun or a fusion rifle increases the damage it takes. Increases the damage it takes from those weapons for a short time. Blows with a freshly reloaded weapon heal you. Damaging a target with a shotgun or a fusion rifle increases the damage it takes from those weapons for a short time. So, <clears throat> when you reload a weapon and then you gain the final blow, you can be healed. And then if you hot swap to a shotgun or a fusion and damage a target with it, and then switch back to the other weapon the damage you do with a freshly loaded weapon with that freshly loaded weapon will have increased damage to the target this feels like it's more of a pve thing i don't know how well this will be in pvp <clears throat> demolition experts direct hits with explosive weapons temporarily increase their reload speed repeated direct hits with those explosive weapons temporarily increase grenade ability damage Hmm. Activating your Vanguard Operative. Activating your grenade gives you and nearby allies damage resistance against combatants. And then the fourth, the four piece. The Phoenix Champions with a finisher generates special ammo for you and your fire team. Huh. Okay. Uh, FAQ. What happens to my old armor? Old legendary armor will be changed as little as possible because the change to set mechanics and the and types are global changes. Old armor pieces will have their will have their stat types, but not their values changed around. When possible, these changes will be the most similar stat, but with some stats being fundamentally reworked, this won't always be possible. Well, the exotic armor. Updating the exo exotic armor pursuit in our roadmap but won't be a part of the initial update that is focusing on legendary armor. So that to make sure that the exotics and their build crafting defining remain a compelling option, we're working on a design that allows players to update their exotic armor to bring their stat bonuses in line with changes to legendary armor. The exotic class items introduced in the final shape are a special case. Even though legendary class items will be gaining a full randoms, uh, random stats with this, up this update, we do not wish to add the additional randomness to the exotic class item chase. Instead, we've written a method for players to update their existing class armors with additional stats of their choosing to bring them in line with the stat contribution of the legendary class items. Um, more details on the long-term plans for exotic armor are coming as we nail them down. My vault is full. Where am I supposed to store all this new armor? 
We know the vault pressure is a real problem for many players. Even with the recent increases in, in vault space, adding outside of adding more space, an option, real solutions that enable long-term storage or more desirable roles are hard problems. But those problems are were penciling into our roadmap at or around next year's second expansion, Coding and Behemoth. We'll share more details when we have a clear direction. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Old legendary armor will be changed as little as possible, but because the change to set mechanics and types are global changes, old armor pieces will have their stat types, but not their values, changed around. When possible, these changes we made to the similar to the similar stat, with some stats being fundamentally reworked, this won't always be possible. So... <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Exotic Armor. Updating the Exotic Armor Pursuit is on our roadmap, but won't be in the initial update that fo is focusing on Legendary Armor. So to make sure that the exotics and their build-defining perks remain a compelling option, we are working on a design that will allow players to update their exotic armor to bring their stat bonuses in line with the changes to Legendary. So, if I go for, um, you know, <clears throat> Vanguard Operative, right? Um, activating Grenade gives you and nearby allies damage resistance against combatants. And then with the force set, getting you know finishers on a champion will give you special ammo. <clears throat> if I'm running like, let's say I'm running um, Nazarak Synth, right? <clears throat> and I kind of want to go more into you know gaining like either my recovery or my discipline on top of you know kind of what I'm currently running. I can have. I can, you know, I can update that exotic to have the stat bonuses be in line with, like, this new armor set for Vanguard Operative. <clears throat> so, and then with your old piece of armors, the types that you have will be changed, but the values that you have with those stats won't be. So if you're holding on to any, like, of the armor that you've, you've kind of built, crafted around, you're really going to have to take a look at everything here. Um, and this is just an example of some of the ones. Um, I wonder how they're going to do the, um, you know, the ritual activities. You know, Crucible, Strikes, and Gambit. Are those going to have things for that? You know? And will... Because this, just, this just shows you, you know, this stuff. But, like, when we're looking at, you know, everything, we still get armor from Crucible. You get armor from Gambit. You get armor from Strikes. Are those going to have set bonuses as well? This one feels like it could be the PVE one. This is like the strikes and everything. Um, th these are probably just random runs you'll get from doing other stuff. Um, but I do want to. I do wonder what they're going to do with the ritual activities. Because that is kind of like a, a very iffy thing. Like, are you gonna like let us actually want to use the armor that we get from these, um, you know, ritual activities? Will there be a reason now to use them more than others? Like, <clears throat> you know, Tex Mechanica. If you are a hunter who likes the weapons that you can, like, hit fire and everything. Um, 
you know, if you have, you'll have one weapon that, you know, will just make shooting from the hit better, and then if you have a text mechanical weapon, your range and accuracy is better when hip fired. You know. This one, in PvE, I can see, you know, because they're just, like, shotgun and fusion rifle. We're not talking linear, so this is, like, all the fusion rifles that we currently have. You know. <clears throat> so if you, you know, have, like, your shotgun or fusion rifle out, and you have a holster mod on one of these armor pieces, um, damage a target, hot swap to, you know, the weapon that just got reloaded, and just go to town. There's that, there's that, you know, thing too. You're increasing the damage, your weapon's freshly loaded, and then you get a kill with it because the damage increased, you'll be healed. Um, I wonder how that's going to work with things like, um, <clears throat> you know, any weapon that has, like, heal clip and kill clip. How is that going to work with, um, you know, weapons that, you know, have, like, things like four times the charm? Because it's giving you back, and, like, crimson and red death. Um, how's that going to work? You know, like, just these, like, really niche kind of things that kind of exist. Like, how is that going to work with these pieces? Direct hits with explosive weapons increase the reload speed. Re repeated direct hits with explosive weapons increase grenade ability damage. So, if you're using, like, you know, the new seasonal weapon that, um, the new season of Zog that's coming, that stasis grenade launcher. Spoilers. Um, and then, you know, you get a direct hit, increases the reload speed. Okay, cool. Repeated direct hits with explosive weapons temporarily in increases grenade ability damage. And it said repeated direct hits. So if you get up, like, you have a heavy, and you just go, you know, and this is like explosive weapons. So this includes, you know, any, would this include any rocket, um, kind of sidearm? Would this, this includes any grenade, grenade launcher you have, any heavy grenade launcher you have, any rocket that you have, um, because it says explosive weapons, you know, things like the call or rocket or the, um, arc uh, special sidearm from uh, <clears throat> the um, that one dungeon whose name is escaping me the one with the where you get the bloodline uh, um, sidearm you know like this one might be, like, the one I kind of go for because I enjoy, like, kind of explosive-based weapons, like my grenade launchers and everything, my rocket launchers. Um, <clears throat> but I'm also wondering, like, you know, if there's going to be anything else that, is, that they go and add that's, like, an explosive weapon. Like, would um, something that... Like the new weapon, Choir of One. Like, it's not a, really an explosive weapon, but that that hip fire is a wyvern shot, which is technically an explosive because it hits us and it does a lot of damage. So, would that in turn work with this set? You know, and like also like activating your grenade. Gives you and nearby allies damage resistance against combatants? Like, you know, how would that work? You know, you gotta think that these are going to be like four piece sets. So, you know, direct hits to increase the reload speed, get damage resistance. You're, you're missing out on this. You know, I feel like the this one is one where it's kind of going to be like, 
okay, how am I gonna go, how am I gonna make this work? Like, will this work? You know, with some other weapons, will this be an increase to how heel clip works? You know, will you have this set alongside with you know heel clip, and then have a shotgun and damage and then. Damage you target increases the damage it takes from those weapons for a short time. So. Oh no, okay, I, I read this whole all wrong. Final blows with a freshly reloaded weapon will heal you, okay? Damaging a target with a shotgun or a fusion increases the, the damage it takes from those weapons for a short time. So. Let's say, you know. <clears throat> Um, you do, you, know, you you holster your shotgun, you damage the target, you don't get the kill. It increases the damage it takes from a shotgun or a fusion rifle for a short time. Which means, if you miss that first shot, you st and you have like a second shot in there, you will actually be able to finally actually like secure that kill. I think this is what's going to help using... Rapid fire um, shotguns feel better to use, and then when you actually get that final blow, because that weapon's been freshly reloaded, <clears throat> it's going to heal you as well. So I wonder how all that's gonna kind of work. This this one might be like the PVP one, because a lot of people like fusion rifles and shotguns. Um. This one will probably be heavy into PvE, especially with, like, wanting to do, like, a lot of, like, explosive damage to enemies. Um, this one will be kind of more like the Nightfall one. So, for, like, dungeons and raids and everything, you'll have this one. For Nightfalls and everything, you're going to want to have this one. PvP? Uh, probably this one. So, you know... You're using, you know, Crimson, you get a kill, you get healed a little bit. While someone else is low, that weapon has just freshly been reloaded. Because of the perk that gives you, you know, that automatically reloads your weapon. You'll get that perk again. Or, will this be like, getting heal clip on something that... You know, has subsistence. How's that going to work? Like, if they're talking about a freshly reloaded weapon, do they mean freshly reloaded to where it goes to the highest stat? Or is it going to be if it just got some ammo back? That's where things like four times the charm, subsistence, um, are all going to kind of play into each other. And then, you know... <clears throat> If you're in PvE, you know, you have a shotgun or a fusion, you shoot a target, it's like, oh, you, you hurt me. Well, now you have increased damage with those weapons as well. Um, so I kind of want to um, see what some of the others might be. I want to see what the rituals will have. Um, honestly, with this... You can just start, like, getting rid of armor and everything that you kind of don't need or don't use. Um, so I feel like a lot of these are just going to change. Um, with these, I'm just interested to see how they're going to work with certain exotics and aspects. You know, and this one being, like, having, like, a special ammo thing, like... What's that going to be? Like, is there going to be, like... <clears throat> you know, because this one shows, you know, Brawler. So it's focused to strength and discipline, okay. So there's your current... There's a lot of your current stat values. And then having the set bonus of the two Brawlers... 
give you, um, you know, more strength and more discipline. And then when you gain like the next two, this intellect increase will go will go in. So that will add an additional intellect to you. Um, when that's active, I mean, I would think. Um, hmm. Interesting. Um. So yeah, that's kind of uh, armor 3.0, really. Um. I wonder. Um. Let's see, is there? Yeah. Nope. Hmm, okay then. Well, Red Faction, uh, with that being said, I'm going to get these two videos uploaded, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, if you like the if you like the longer, more reaction video, I um, hope you enjoyed that one to see everything that's kind of being added. Um, if you want to see my insight on next-gen armor, there's this video. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we'll be going live, and we're going to be doing some Sonic Frontiers, um, because why the heck not? to prepare for the Sonic X Shadow Generations game that's going to be coming out in three weeks? Three weeks, I want to say. So, yeah. That being said, hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys enjoy these videos. If you do, there's a red button you can hit down there. Join the Red Faction. There's links for both my Discord, my Twitch, and I think my Twitter's in there as well um, to find out any instances of, like, when I start my stream. Um, and all that other stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy all this, and I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow over on Purple. See y'all later.